All right, on this Tech Tip Thursday, I want to show you how to bend this very thin eighth inch metal. This is a zinc, and it's going to go around a round window. So here's our window. So the very first thing that we have to do is spread it out so that it'll get around the piece. So I'm taking my fid, and that's what this uh, end of the fit is for, is for spreading your metal out. So I just run it along inside here. Now the thing about doing this type of work is that you've got to take it very slow and easy because you don't want to kink it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get this edge and I put it right so that it'll it'll end up on a joint Now I put a nail there, but I got to get one over here, and I got to get one over here. And you notice that I'm holding them so that if I miss, I hit my fingers and not the the glass. Okay, now that's pretty much got it. I usually put three. I must have a reason. Okay, now, now I sort of bend around. Now you see I've got the, the metal running onto the other bench so that I, so I don't have it flopping around. See, it's a good thing that I spread that because it's having a hard time getting over that joint. This is when the horseshoe nails come in really handy because they tighten up as you drive them in and so they they hold the piece very securely. That one. also handy to be doing this on a piece of drywall because it's so easy to 
drive into drywall. See how the zinc has kind of moved and pulled over here? So I could have had it farther on this side. As it gets pulled along, it kind of has a tendency to, to slide on there. Okay, now I'm just going to simply clip that using a pair of dikes, lead nippers. So I cut it there. Then I just pull it backwards and then back and forth to kind of the metal fatigues. And then it breaks off. And I can force this kit right up. Right, and that will, see a minute, just push that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, it's ready to solder. And after that, then I'm going to put three rings on the bottom and then these feathers will hang from this sun catcher. It's a, what do they call them? Dream catchers? And these will be on swivels so hopefully they'll swivel. Okay this is a fishing swivel and I've got a split ring on the top and the bottom. I have to put the split ring on first because there's no split on the swivel itself. Now, in order to get this where I want it to be, I take holding it with needle nose pliers. Put a little bit of flux on there, and there may be enough solder. Now when you are soldering, you want to 
not move it at all because you don't want to have a cold joint. If it moves, the, the joint gets uh, um, let's see what sort of want. Huh? Okay, so there's one. I can't tell what's going on with the back of that. Well, now Chini's already got hanging rings here and here. And there we have it. That's very cute. I love it. All right. That's been our great uh, video for this week. See you next time.